welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you're new here my name is Cindy and it's a beautiful day to be alive and today I'm gonna do my first waterfall hike I just realized that I I've been here for a while and I still haven't seen a waterfall and I don't think I even ever saw a waterfall when I was on Kauai last year either so Doing that today, we're gonna do Manoa Falls. Um, it's actually where they filmed some of the scenes for Jumanji and uh, Lost. So really excited to see that. And then they also have um, the Lion Arboretum there, um, which houses like, it showcases all the native and like endangered plant species to Hawaii as well. So I'm really excited about that. Then I'm thinking um, about checking out this bookshop. It's it's called a uh, dust shop, and it's like used books and curiosities, and that's like right up my alley. So really excited about that. And then I'm gonna chill the rest of the day, and I'm gonna paint. I finally got some art supplies, so I'm so ready to dive back into my art and get these things out of my head that have just been building up since I got here. And it's just, it's gonna be such a good day. Can't wait to have you along for it. Okay, so I just pulled up and as soon as I get here, there's just uh, chickens running everywhere, which is always awesome. But I'm actually wearing one of my cute like workout outfits today because all these girls that I see on these hikes are always like so freaking cute. And I was like, I wanna look cute while I'm hiking. So I've just pulled up, I'm about to put some bug spray on and get started on this hike. It's gonna be so freaking magical. So this is more of a popular hike, so you are going to encounter people here when you're doing this hike. And the only reason why I said where I was going is because everybody knows about this hike, so. Um, Oh, it's so nice so far though. Look at this. But I did come early, like as soon as they open. I just prefer to come earlier in the day when it's not super hot and there's just not that many people. Oh, ha. I'm actually so excited today because tomorrow Adam gets here with our dog Helios and our cat Zed. So he's actually leaving today. Um, he's got a 12 hour layover in Seattle and then he's gonna be here tomorrow and I get to go pick all of them up from the airport. And it's just so exciting because it's such a long and difficult process to get your pets moved here so like it's finally here and I'm so excited and I'm so ready and uh, I like it that they have that layover in Seattle because then that way the animals get to they get to all be together in the hotel room for a while and it just makes it easier for the animals rather than shipping them alone where they're alone the whole time and they have no idea what's going on you know. Oh my God, there's nothing like just being out in nature and just hearing all these sounds. Oh, look at this. Okay. Who, why? Like, I'm already pissed off. Um, I'm assuming it's probably someone that's hiking that's just gonna grab it on their way back, but if that's still here when I come back, I'm grabbing it and I'm throwing it away because that's like a complete violation of leave no trace ethics. What the heck? 
hell is going on here? These are all shoes. What's happening? I wonder if maybe it was hikers that took them off and put like brand new shoes on to help from like spreading germs from where your shoes have walked around. That's what I'm gonna tell myself that is. This shed is so cool. It's like a little walkthrough tunnel. Oh wow. <laughs> There's so much writing and art all over it. Oh wow. Oh, this is a nice couple of bench logs here. I think I'm going to sit on one and write on my way back. Some of the best hikes always include a nice little babbling brook. It's my favorite. Just reminds me of like Fay. This whole place reminds me of the Fay. just walked by and saw a piece of trash that I'm gonna grab on my way back and I just realized I need to start packing some gloves and like a little extendable like trash grabber and a trash bag or bag of some sort that way when I go on like these hikes and stuff when I do find stuff like that I can go ahead and pick it up and grab it but not like you know touch it and I can just dispose of it and get it taken out It's so freaking crazy. I feel like I literally went from being one of those people that used to just be like really upset and really just miserable all the time about my life. And once I finally decided to just stop and do what I want to do, I, I'm suddenly like a fairy just frolicking through the tropics and pretty fucking sweet.
the babbling brook is speaking to me. Oh, it's really nice. Ooh, almost slipped. Um, how shaded this hike is. Um, <clears throat> that island sun can be uh, pretty hot, like me. I'm just playing. Okay, aside from passing by a fairly large group of people, it's kind of dark and eerie here in this point, and I like it. I'm not even gonna lie, <clears throat> for me at least, I think the scariest part of hiking alone in Hawaii, it, it's not like the true crime fear, like someone's gonna come up and grab me. It's wild pigs and wild dogs. I feel like every time I'm out hiking alone, I'm always uh, looking around for like any type of closest tree that I can run up like on just in case. I'm gonna see what's down here. That was cool. Um, it was like right there. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have gone because you don't want to you don't want to stray off the path in these types of trails. You know, you want to respect the Ina. You don't want to go trampling through the foliage or anything like that. Ooh. This damn selfie sick. I think it's time to get a new one. I mean, really, it's time to get um, a real camera set anyway. That's actually what I'm saving up for. I realized I actually am a starving artist, guys, um, because like last, a couple weeks ago, I bought art supplies instead of going out to dinner, and then um, this week, I finally put my website together, um, so that's coming along. I finally bought that, and I'm going to buy the copyrights to my blog series, and I'm doing that instead of buying a little TV stand so I can actually see my TV from my bed when we put it together. Oh, it's getting steep now. And now I'm about to finally buy my first really nice camera set instead of buying a couch. I fucking love my life. <laughs> Okay, always gotta make sure that you take frequent breaks, drink your water, you know, but one thing I've noticed is how much easier it is to hike since I quit vaping. Um, it hasn't been long now. Um, my goal is one year without vaping and without a drop of alcohol. And you know, I don't smoke pot or like do drugs and you know, stuff like that. So like complete, utter, just raw dogging sobriety. Um, and I'm really excited. And I can already tell a change in my body, especially from doing these types of things on a regular basis. And I'm really proud of myself and I'm really happy. And uh, I am vlogging it too, how it's going for the entire year. So stay tuned for that one. come to a fork in the road, what decision do you make, left or right? I feel like right tells me safety, but left tells me I want to go there. So I think I'm going to go there and see what's up there. I hope I'm making the right decision. Oh, oh, that's not even a path on the right side. Oh, it's just like a little cul-de-sac. What did I say? Right, safety, left, go. Wow. When did I get so cool? Such a good way to spend the day. So I know I said that after this and the Arboretum and the bookshop, I was going to go home and just chill and make art. But... But the original plan was to actually go 
to Colina and catch me one of those west side sunsets. And now I'm starting to change my mind again, feeling like maybe, maybe I should do that today. Um, but maybe I should just go home and chill and save my gas because Adam gets here tomorrow and he's going to be here a couple days. So we're going to go do stuff around the island. Oh, I need to drink some more water. I found a nice bench. <clears throat> I'm just gonna chill and sit for a while. Okay, I'm sitting here eating my granola snack and there's people walking by and this lady just walked by and she had full leg sleeve tattoos and they were so gorgeous and I was just like oh my gosh like I can't wait to get more tattoos but then I'm like mm, tattoos or travel and then I just got the genius idea what if I just got like a new little tattoo like everywhere that I went you know so I think for my next I have like a lot of trips <laughs> planned that are coming up so I think I'm gonna try to set like some more money aside so I can get like a new little tattoo everywhere that I go because how cool would that be? Like there's a literal like story behind every tattoo. I'm doing it. Yep, I'm doing it. Okay, up and moving again. And apparently it's not much further up. So I'm so excited. This is such a good day. Oh. <laughs> I'm so graceful and attractive when I'm on these hikes. <laughs> I'm super excited to see this. I think it's like really big too and there's like a pool of water at the bottom, but unfortunately you can't swim in it um, out of risk of getting leptocirrhosis. Um, and I think it would also probably just not be very good for whatever life is in there as well. For human bodies to just be splishing and splashing around in there all the time, you know? I think next time when I come do this with Adam, we're gonna check out that other um, trail too. Oh, these steps are so nice. I can hear rushing water. Whoa. another trail up there. very dry. It's a very dry trickle. There's uh, there's not too much water coming down and that makes me really sad because um, someone was just saying when they were here like five years ago it was pretty, I mean, strong, you know, so that, that makes me wonder about like environmental effects and whatnot that could be having an issue on here. And okay, now that I'm alone, you see these signs, right? You can read, like no point beyond this. Like all these people that were down there, like so shameless, so shameless, like everyone can see you. And some of them had kids too. Like that's, that's a great lesson to teach your kids. Now I know like, okay, like I get it. Yeah. Like, okay, well I, I want to get closer, but th there's a reason why those signs are there. There's a reason why they don't want you right there. They don't want you walking on there. They don't want you near the water, you know, like why can't you just heed the signs? Like, this is why we can't have nice things. That's probably, like, why the freaking water isn't that strong anymore, too, yeah? Like, all these things that we do as a species, just because of our own, like, instant gratification and, and our own need and just, like, not taking into consideration the, the land that we live on, you know? And I just, like, I don't know. That just kind of upset me. Like, just... Respect the Ina. Respect the signs, you know.
right, I'm on my way back down now, and what the hell was that? Is that? Is that? I couldn't really catch it on video. It was some sort of like giant like rodent of some sort. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is later and just like edit it in. Um, I don't know. Anyway, before I got wildly distracted, I am on my way down. Uh, so then I'm gonna check out the Lion Arboretum. Yeah, I think even though like there wasn't a lot of water, it was still well worth the hike. And uh, I don't know, that's, that's very concerning to me though, um, that, ooh, almost fell. Like the water's just kind of dried up like that. How much you want to bet whoever left that water bottle there at the beginning of the trail is probably one of those people that were down by the pool where you weren't supposed to go. Just saying, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy. I met someone up there um, that had just moved here and they have been here for as long as I have. Such a strange coincidence. It was their first time coming to this one too. Weird. Just small world, I guess. I mean, not really because we didn't know each other, but like the coincidences, yeah? I love when like weird little connections like that happen. It's getting real busy now, so yeah. That's why I... I always like coming like early, like as soon as they open. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I'm still like baffled. Like I know I know you want to get a closer view and I know you want to get your Instagram pictures, but it's 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 not about you. Okay, so it took me forever to get like this really nice picture of the trees with the sunlight that I was trying to get because there were so many people coming through because it's so busy now and I did the sun kind of like went away from where it was hitting like I wanted it to get so I don't think the shot came out as great as I want to, to... Yeah. Oh. but you know what I didn't do I didn't get frustrated that people were here and in my way and I didn't get like all mad and ask anyone to move. It's that easy. I should have sprayed my face with bug spray. Gosh. Yep, water bottle's still here. How much you want to bet was one of them. I'm taking it and throwing it out. Um, and there's no way that it's anybody else that's still here because I was up there for a while and everyone that came before me had left. So, yep. <laughs> um, but the shoes were all gone. So yeah, I think it was. Um, I think it was that group of guys that was up at the waterfall when I walked up. And yeah, I think they. Uh, I think they switched out their shoes and. Uh, 
either I missed that piece of trash that I was gonna pick up or someone else picked it up which I think there's it was like bright pink so there was no way I would have missed it so I think someone else picked it up so that makes me feel really nice really good but yeah you gotta you want to wipe your shoes um, before and after the hike so you're not like tracking things in and out so I totally forgot today is Veterans Day so happy Veterans Day for all of you out there that serve our country um, but the Arboretum is closed because of it so we're gonna skip that. I crouched down to take a picture of one of them and they all started flocking around. They probably think I'm about to feed them. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get your hopes up. <laughs> okay, that was really fun. That was really cool, um, you know, minus those people. Um, <laughs> when I was uh, walking back with the water bottle that I picked up off the ground, I was just like, please, dear gods, do not let me accidentally drink this for karma for talking so much shit about those people. Um, but since the Arboretum is closed in observance of Veterans Day, I'm just gonna go check out the shop. So I'm really excited. Okay, so I stopped back by the house to use the bathroom and grab another one of these sparkling water. It's black tea and lemon cans because it's so freaking good. And I've had too much caffeine today. Um, I was almost like, you know what, maybe I will go to Colina to catch the sunset, but then I'm just like, you know what, no, I'm gonna go to this bookstore and I'm gonna chill. But I wanted to change because I didn't wanna like go to a bookstore like in my sweaty like workout clothes that I just used to go on a hike. And I actually thrifted this shirt and these pants from the Salvation Army in Kailua. And I just wanted to show it off because look at how cute these pants are. OMG, I've always wanted a pair like this. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> All right, so I just pulled up and I found parking and I'm about to go walk across the street to the store. Um, but on my way out, I actually finally met one of my neighbors that I was waiting to run into at some point. And it was nice, we chatted, he was real nice. But at one point, um, at the end of the conversation, he goes, although one thing I'm upset with you is why you don't like go paka lolo in the backyard? <laughs> which that's the word for weed, um, for smoking pot, which I just, I don't do so, but that was really funny. Okay, I know it's like really simple, but I really am loving this outfit, especially with my Converse. It's so comfortable and so like, just minimalist and cute. This bookshop is so cool and there's so much like local Hawaiian like history books. Oh, Captive Paradise. I actually have this book in my Amazon car, so I might just go ahead and pick it up today. But look, I just found The Hobbit written completely in Hawaiian. That is so freaking cool. Like I damn near kind of wanna buy it as like a way to help like teach myself Hawaiian because I already have The Hobbit, although it's in the storage unit in Indiana, but... Oh, what? Alice... Is this Alice in Wonderland in Hawaii too? Alice in Wonderland in Hawaii! I think I'm gonna buy that for sure. Oh my god, I'm literally... I should've brought a bag with me. Oh my god, I'm gonna end up buying like 20 books. <laughs> Okay, so I literally almost lost all self-control and I just about spent like 80 something dollars. Um, but I didn't get the Captive Paradise um, history book on Hawaii only because this isn't, um, this wasn't like a used bookshop like I thought it was going to be. And I, I did find a used version on thrift books. So I'm gonna go with that. There was a really nice hardcover, um, Hawaii's history book that was written by Queen Luliuokalani that I almost got as well um, but I just 
didn't really want to spend that much on it um at least not right now and there was like a little paperback $12 version but I was like you know what I'm gonna hit a used bookshop and I'm sure that I can find something like that at one of those but I did grab this Hawaiian language fundamentals book that I'm really excited to start flipping through because how cool would it be if after living here for like eight years I actually did become like pretty much fluent in the Hawaiian language of, of all languages you know like I think that would be so cool and then I found this and oh I'm like so in love with this R. It's nice and thick too so lots to read. So this is the epic tale of Hi Ia Kai Ka Polio Pele, which is like one of Pele's sisters. Um, so I really hope I didn't completely butcher that name. I'm sure I did, but I'm learning. So I'm super excited. Like the art on there is so beautiful. So that was a, a good stop, good, good haul, good book haul. I forgot to show, I also got these uh, really cool bookmark and this sticker. I don't know what I'm gonna put the sticker on. Maybe I'll put it on my laptop. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I am back home now. I'm very happy with my new books. I was on my way home and I was just like, man, I feel like I feel like I wanna go out and do something else today. Like I, I always wanna go out and do stuff on my days off, but you know what? Adam is almost at the airport and the anxiety is high about traveling with two pets. So I'm going to stay in. I'm going to chill the rest of the day like I said I was going to. I'm going to paint. I'm going to work on my blog. I'm going to read. I'm going to eat. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to waste time, you know, watch TV um, and just keep an eye on them as they come down here. So. Yeah, uh, this, I mean, it's been a great day. It's going to keep being a great day. And thank you so much for watching if you stayed until the end. And if you want to see more content like this, you know where the subscribe button is. And have a beautiful day.